President Obama was just in Mexico. Uh, the debate around immigration uh, is raging now. Right. Um, the legislation that is being introduced calls for thousands more border guards. Talk about um, the significance of this for what you're finding. What I've found in this particular investigation is one of the reasons this is happening is because we have poorly trained guards. In 2006 and 7, we hired about 8,000 more, lowered standards. And we have a lot of rookies on the force now, uh, and, and they're basically taught to shoot their weapons. If we increase the Border Patrol force by thousands more, as you say, increase militarization at the border, I think we're going to have more incidents here. We're talking about dealing with immigration or immigrants in a militaristic way as opposed to in a human way. And, and what we're seeing now is the result of using guns instead of diplomacy. And I, I suspect, since we've seen such an increase in the past couple of years, that this is going to escalate. The Senate uh, immigration plan uh, is centered around uh, securing the border as a condition for uh, granting a path of citizenship for all these undocumented workers. So do you see that as a, as a, a case of concern? It's a terrible case of concern. We have actual large U.S. cities along the U.S.-Mexico border that are becoming militarized, San Diego, El Paso, Nuevo Laredo, uh, Nogales, who have drones flying around in their backyards. They have border guards that are running up and down the border all over the place. We have thousands of armed to the teeth uh, guards that are aiming their weapons at Mexico. So it feels like a war zone down there, and I think it's going to get a little bit worse.